Hello and welcome to the Initiative Order and our alien game this evening. Um, thank you very much for joining us. And before we jump in to tonight's festivities, shall we say, um, you can see we have a couple of players down. Um, Ray and Cynthia won't be here this evening, but um, they will be back next session. Uh, life is life, so, you know, we all got things to do, but it's fine. We have these three wonderful players here who will keep things moving um, whilst they're away, hopefully. Hopefully. But before we jump in, um, just give a quick shout out to our sponsors, as always, um, who help us help you with discount codes and giveaway stuff and just being all around amazing people. So first off is Session Zero Clothing, which is a D&D inspired streetwear company. Uh, make amazing t-shirts, hoodies, jumpers, all that. So please check them out. Um, if you use the code ORDER at your checkout, um, you'll get 15% off everything in your basket, which is amazing. Um, next up is Norse Foundry, who make um, really cool artisan dice and dice accessories, um, like mammoth dice and really cool like thousand year old bogwood dice and everything um, if you use tio15 at checkout you'll get again 15 percent off uh, next is roman player gear uh, which are a t tabletop accessory uh, brand also run by ray got dm uh, creator of evermore and um, a long time member of the initiative order if you use carnaby 20 um, you'll get 20 percent off the dice tower dice tray combo set that they do um, which is very nice and you should check it out um, next is mithril armory uh, who have been a, a long time supporter of the initiative order um, makers of the tin 20s sketch dice um, loads of really cool new accessories including the the like solid gold dice with diamonds in which um, you should definitely check out um, but if you use initiative in the checkout you will get a uh, 10 percent off everything on the website and then our last sponsor is umbral oculus dice um, our very own Taryn, the keeper for uh, Far Realms and player on Vault. Um, if you use initiative um, on the website, on the Kofi, um, you'll get 10% off a full full custom dice set from there. Um, so please check them out. They are uh, amazing dice. And yeah, that's our sponsors for this evening. Um, we are also a proud ambassador of Jasper's Game Day. Um, so they are a charity that is set up to help raise um, awareness and prevention with teen suicide. Um, so please go on the website. There's a link in the description in the panel and everything. Um, check them out. If you know anyone in, in need of help, it's a great place for resources and support. So please do do check them out. Yeah, so that's the uh, admin out of the way. Before we jump into the session, let's... Let's hand things over to my, my players for this evening to give their own little shout outs and let you know who they are, where they're from, where you can find them, what they're up to. So first off, uh, Taylor. Hello, I am back as Lydia Farrow, medic, uh, and I survived last time, so I will survive again this time, right? Everybody pray for me, please. Uh <laughs> <laughs> if you are looking for me on social media, you can find me on Instagram. I am at the Barbarian Barbie, where I do a whole lot of lifting, a whole lot of RPGs, and all that good stuff. So follow me there. Uh, next up, uh, Emily. Hello, it's me, uh, Emily, or in this case, Paige Rage Gage, uh, and I am very much thrilled to be back. Um, I've played with the lovely folks at the Initiative Order quite a few times now. It's always a pleasure to be here. Uh, you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Emily Irv, that's E-M-I-L-Y-E-R-V, uh, where you can keep up on whatever TGRPG stuff I am up to this week. Um, Lord knows I don't know, so someone help me find out. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm excited to be here. Danny, don't kill me. Uh, yay, that's it. We'll see. <laughs> and lastly, uh, Utsuhime. Hi guys, I'm Utsuhime, and I play B, your resident kid punk 
on the ship who um, is now apparently going to be stuck with her buddy and her rival. So let's see what uh, shenanigans unfold. I'm really worried on lots of levels. <laughs> but uh, basically, I am all about cosplay and TTRPG shenanigans. Uh, so if you're interested in any, uh, all of those things, please be sure to follow me at Utime Cosplay. And that's Facebook, Instagram, um, here on Twitch, where I occasionally stream on my own channel, and uh, Brianna DeCosta on Twitter. And try not to kill me. It's really, I'm squishy. I'm also too very adorable. <laughs> See, everyone thinks that because this, we're missing a couple of players, I'm just going to kill everyone else off so that then when they come back, it's just them two. It's not going to happen, hopefully. Um, but with that, <laughs> um, let us um, jump into No Turning Back. We'll see you all in a second. Okay, so to recap where we left off, um, our group of um, guerrilla warfare, um, espionage-esque rebels, shall we say, um, on a vendetta against Weyland Yutani for the atrocities they have been committing, are on their their way to their next destination, having picked up a stowaway. Uh, by the name of B, who is a fangirl of um, Spiderling Cortez, uh, the pilot for this group and the, the leader, as it were, of this uh, band of ne'er-dwells. Um, having completed their previous mission and gained more data um, on the whereabouts of Will Nutani's secret operations and the places they need to go to take down the company and, and bring it down a peg each time. Um, kind of slowly removing that grip on society and the world that this, this massive corporation has. Um, you all set off on your ship to um, head to what was a dead drop kind of information center, um, an archive of research data technical data all sorts of data that you're not 100 percent sure what it is what it's used for but you feel this central dead drop zone is where you're going to get kind of the big payout of information you need and where the big scores are the big hits that are for you to really take down this this company um it was going to take a bit of time to travel to this place so uh, and you you had basic supplies so law your mechanic roughneck um took the 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 shuttle pod out of your your stolen ship um to go and collect the the key supplies needed and they were going to rendezvous with you um close to your destination so you can meet back up and then head out together um during this time the rest of you had planned to go into hypersleep um for a couple of weeks during this mission um you all went into hypersleep with uh selena spiraling cortez your your pilot your captain um being the last one to go into hypersleep whilst they got you all settled and they took some time 
to kind of decompress following the revelations that Lydia Farrow was the one who essentially killed her mother. Um, it was a mercy killing. She was already um, Thank you for deemed... clarifying. <laughs> she was already deemed to die, <laughs> um, having been um, subject to being the host of um, an alien embryo, shall we say. Um, but that revelation had come from B, the stowaway, who decided to just kind of blurt out that someone may be a murderer. Um, so relationships are tense on board the ship. Um, we'll see if they settle or calm down. But as we last left things, Lydia and B's relationship was not the best. But B had now been inducted as part of the team. Um, somehow being now a 14 year old security officer who knows how that happened but it did um, with Paige taking B under her wing um, as a slight mentor um, firearms teacher and grandmother I guess <laughs> in a way but the coolest mm, granny ever watch yourself <laughs> <laughs> But that's where we left things. Um, well, not quite. We left things with you all in hypersleep. So, moving things into the present. Can you all roll me an observation check? Observation. Ooh. <laughs> wow. My observation is as bad as I thought it was, and I can't even read it. <laughs> <laughs> One success. No success. Okay. No success. No success. Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah. Nope. <laughs> okay. So, this is a good start. <laughs> um, you all begin to come round um, in your cryopods from sleep. Um, B and Paige, you are very disorientated. Um, but you do hear a weird kind of droning sound, like muffled through the, the, the glass of the capsule. Um, Lydia, you come round a little bit better than the rest of them having having done this before having been a medic and kind of knowing the best way to prepare for something like this um but you wake up and you hear a sound as your pod opens and it is a very clear sound that is going off oh, I hate it. on board oh, the I ship hate it so much. and it is just incessant and you keep hearing it and then you hear the the computer kick in and then you start to warning. hear warning hull breach in life support unit warning warning hull breach in life support unit um, warning warning okay um, hull breach in life support are unit. they are they out of their pods yet they are slowly coming to as their pods open um, but they are a bit more groggy than, than you. <sighs> hey, hey, morning. Um, something's What's going on? What's going on, Ruckus? Uh, so, so listen, I. I slipped have on my never... arm, I think. Okay, listen. Um, I appreciate all of you waking up. I need everybody to slap themselves, go get some water, drink a little bit. I don't know what's going on. There is a siren going off that I have never heard before. So there's a problem. What in tarnation is that noise? <laughs> is that? I don't want to turn that off. Is that normal? Like, I mean. Well, no. What is she saying? The life support system. That sounds bad. Warning. Um, warning. Hull breach in life support unit. This is warning. just repeated. Warning. Hull oh, breach in life, life support, support unit. unit. Warning. Warning. I Hull don't even know what that means. Warning. Hull breach in life support unit. 
Oh, I... if you don't know what that means, like, we're really screwed. I don't know. Okay, um, so I think... I know, I would know where the, like, CCTV system is, right? Yeah, it's in the cockpit. Oh, shit. Okay, um, I'll... I'm gonna try to go there? Okay. And the pulse rifle is out. <laughs> Did you keep that oh. next to your cryopod, or was that stored away? Oh, it's that, like, we gotta be ready, and B tries to get the, the knife. I, I sleep like this with it. <laughs> B tries to get her boot knife, and she's like, she has it out, but she's like not even holding it correct. Like, she's just like holding it like this. Paige just sort of lowers her arm. <laughs> I, I don't think we need to do that quite yet. It's just a precaution. I don't, you know what? I would Well, Captain said I was security, so like I'm ready to go. I'm going to I'm going to prove that I'm 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 a member of this team and I can help you guys. I got You're this. You're a more valuable member alive not running into combat like a fool. So, you know, keep it cool, right? Right? We talked about it. Keep it cool. Oh, okay. Nice right. and cool. So, now, can before... I use that gun then? And then I'll really be prepared. Well, before, okay, so I, I need to talk to you about something. Before we go anywhere, um, I know, I know that we started off on the wrong foot. It was not, a, it wasn't a good way to start. However, with what I have seen and the reason that I had to do what I did is because I'm concerned that one of them is up in that room. So... I I suggest you keep your cool, but don't get wait, one of one of them. Wait, what? You have no idea what's out here, do you? I mean, us and oxygen like, levels oh, man, depleting. You're gonna bring this one to oxygen her levels right? depleting. I will. Oxygen I don't levels Tani loses. depleting. We're gonna take them down and and. Uh, yes. Um, I mean, they have guns and stuff, but you guys have. I mean. You guys are really cool, and you guys know how to handle yourselves. So I'm a, like, I, I, I'll try to hold them again. I'll, I'll hold my own. I, I, I think I can get. I, I learned a well, little bit from Paige. While they're having this conversation, I want to go check. Uh, uh, oh, not Cynthia. I clearly have everyone's names written down. Selena is still in her pod. Yes, she's. Yes, not her pod that. hasn't. I mean, make me make me a contact roll. <laughs> My dice literally rolled off the table and said, nope, uh, yeah, no successes. No successes. Um, you have a look and she appears to still be asleep in her cryopod and the screen just says, um, system malfunction, override unavailable. Oh, damn it, Lydia. Oh, we got a problem. Okay. Like, another uh, problem. Okay, okay, okay. What That's happened? probably what's going on. Um, her pod's malfunctioning and that... <sighs> probably means oh, no. not a whole lot of oxygen and i'm just gonna take off towards the cockpit to see if i can I, I, wherever the wherever controls for anything are <laughs> the, the, the captain can't die like how do, what, what do we what, what do we do it's all right stay calm i'm gonna try to i guess jerry rig this thing open um and i'm just gonna try to use brute strength to just pop the lid off if i can <laughs> make me a strength roll with, with pleasure and while uh, you do that lydia you can kind of you can easily make your way and just kind of bolt down the central main corridor um to where to the cockpit two successes two successes very nice so lydia when what are you doing when you get to the cockpit um is it Oh, am I able to just pop it open or yeah the the, right the door now? isn't isn't locked um when Selena left the cockpit to go into cryosleep herself she left it open in case of any emergency so we can get to the cockpit okay easily. I'm gonna check the TV system see if there's anything in any of the additional rooms on the ship that would have potentially caused this if I don't see anything I want to go down to wherever the controls are and I know it said override unavailable, but I'm going to say fuck that and try it anyway. <laughs> okay, so make me a contact roll whilst you're in there. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, <laughs> uh, Paige, you try and kind of pop the, the cryopod open um, and you use all your strength. But even 
in these uh, increased adrenaline times, uh, you cannot open it, and you just hear like a like a warning sound, like a uh -uh sort of sound as you, you try and do it. Damn it! Um, is there anything to like um, maybe prop it open or something like a like? Is Do Laura's pod also not opening? Law isn't there. Oh. Law left. All? No, Law left on the the shuttle to go and get supplies. Right, right. Oh yeah. yeah <laughs> Do, do is there any type of like crowbar, like any any type of tool that could be used to kind of try to uh... make make me a survival roll while you try and find something? Okay. Uh, Lydia, what did you get? Um, a whole lot of threes. That's great. <laughs> So I will say what you do glean um, in in a general sense is that there's a big flashing warning on one of the computer screens in the cockpit that says um, hull breach, life support unit, lockdown. But additionally, what you do know um, from being on the ship and being on it for a bit of time now... Um, the life support unit isn't the cryo chamber, isn't where your your cryopod sleep is. It's a unit. It's it's a room on the ship, which is where your um, oxygen tanks are, your your filtration units, and everything. It's a specific room where all the life support equipment for a ship in space is held. Basically, everything that I would probably need. <laughs> it's not quite a med bay. It's literally like what keeps the ship oh boy. oxygen yeah, okay. running and filtered. Lydia, the so, thing ain't budging. <laughs> what are you two, seeing? Two successes. Okay. Two successes. Um, I'll, I'll come back in because where I am is not helpful right now. <laughs> okay. Um, so, listen, um, th I think, I think we have a little bit of an issue um, in Well, the no shit. <laughs> Yeah, so I suggest that maybe you pull your weapon out. All right. Um, and we're going to go check the TVs and see if we see anything in the ship because there is a security breach. So we're all sleeping and Lore's not here. Um, there's a big problem. B, I need you to do something very important for me. Stay the yeah. fuck right here. Stay the yeah. fuck right I'm, here. <laughs> I'm gonna protect the captain. Protect the captain. That is your yeah, job. Perfect. Mm. Great. Yep. Yeah. Good. Excellent. <laughs> All right. <laughs> also, B, whilst you're there, you did manage to find a crowbar um, in a, a toolbox within the room. Okay. Uh, can, can we? Can Can I get help with this first? I mean, I, you know, I, I I'm not as as like page i'm not as strong um I, I, i'll get there but i i like i maybe all of us together can cr like try to pry this thing open uh we got one try and then we gotta go uh, yeah. yeah all right let's give her a go okay how, how what are we rolling danny uh roll me let's see roll me a strength <laughs> You're picking everything that I'm not good at today. <laughs> nope. That's on brand. Nope. <laughs> Two successes. Two. Okay. Um, let's have a see here. So, you all kind of knuckle down and try and pop the lid of this uh, cryopod open, and you're struggling really struggling um but Paige you kind of give it that extra push and you manage to like pop it so that there is a, a slither open and you kind of hear this tss as gas starts leaking out of the pod um and then you see another warning message flash up on the screen of the the cryopod all right keep it open make sure she's getting air through that sliver we gotta go you got it um uh, and if anybody comes, shoot them in the face. And I pop my pistol down on the tank. Uh, so now B has a M4A3 service pistol. 
Okay. Oh, and B puts her knife away and back into her boot, and then she like holds the gun, and she's kind of like her hand is shaking, but she's she's trying to like steady it. And please, whatever you do, do not shoot us when we come back. You got it. Okay. Um, before we go, I'm just I'm just gonna give you a little heads up. If it starts coming at you, you're not looking for something that looks like a person, okay? Wait, what do you mean? Um, it, it's gonna look like a seven-foot-tall black Demon crawled feet. out of the devil's asshole. Wait, if what? If you are scared shitless, you should shoot it. All right, I have what, full what? faith in you. Bye, what? kiddo. Uh, uh, <laughs> All right, bye. Uh, <laughs> We're out. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Oh, oh my god, okay, how would she say to. Oh, um, I think the safety. Oh wait, no. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. Okay, you can do this. Captain, I got your back. I'm gonna do this. No, I don't got this. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Gage, I can't believe I'm doing this fucking shit again. Okay. So. So. What are you guys doing? We're we're gonna go check the CCTV first, see if we see anything in any of the rooms. Okay. Make me an observation roll. Both of us. Yeah. Either both of you or one of you and the other one can give like the help action, which means an additional die roll. Two successes. I'm going to give her the help action. <laughs> what does that mean? So you can roll an, an, another dice. Oh, cool. Three successes. It was worth it. Yay. <laughs> so you can perform a stunt if you wish. Um, with that, with those additional successes, from that you can you can glean uh, your option of three questions, uh, which is: Is it coming for me? Are there more, more of them close by? How do I get in, past or away? You want to ask any of those questions as part of your observation? Okay. Uh, the best question to ask would be: How do I get in in case it's locked? Okay. So, you look on the CCTV of the ship and s try and see, is there anything else on board, having this paranoia that for some reason there might be something else on board this ship. Yeah, no reason at all that I would be paranoid about that. <laughs> Never no. had an issue. Yeah. So, so you look on the CCTV and take a moment to kind of gauge everything, and all the while, this is still going off. Yeah, and you still have the... Warning. Warning. Hull breach in life support unit. Additionally to that, you do have... Oxygen levels depleting. Oxygen levels depleting. So this is consistently oh, going off. Bad. That's pretty bad. Um, we need oxygen, obviously. Shit. So this is time sensitive. Looking around the CCTV, you see nothing else on board the ship. You do see, looking at the camera that covers the life support unit... Um, that the doors to the room are sealed. They have been sealed by the ship as a fail-safe measure for any sort of decompressurization, hull breaches and such. Um, you do see um, the movement of gas in that room um, and it appears to be coming out of a, a large cylinder and going straight to, to uh, a point on the wall And can I assume that that's one of the oxygen tanks? Is that the only thing that's in there? What I know? Okay. Yeah, look, looking at the room, you you, you, you do recognise that's one of the, the, the oxygen tanks, and then there's some filtration units as well, but it appears that there is a hole in the oxygen tank, and there is a, a point on the, the hull of the ship where this, this oxygen gas is being kind of directed. God damn it, I think something just must have fallen over and it, I don't know, broke one or something. Mm, I don't know. Well, I guess the only way to find out is to check. 
Do we want to bring the kid? I don't know. I listen. The doors are sealed. There's. I don't see anything in there. There's an oxygen tank leaking. I. I don't want to leave her here by herself. That's quite the change of heart from. Well, like I said, it has been three weeks. And also considering the fact that, you know, if there is something here, it's the difference between if, you know, we all die or like maybe one of us because there's two other for backup. So. All right. You can call it pragmatism all you want, but I think you're starting to like that kid. I wouldn't say I like her. I just don't want to blow her brains out every time I look at her right now. That is most certainly an improvement. All right, let's go get her. <laughs> B, you shoot anybody? Uh, no, uh, I didn't okay. see any seven foot demon. What? What well, are you talking about? Don't start now. It's just okay. us. <laughs> so I listen. We look. We check the the TV, and it looks like I don't know. Something must have fallen over in the life support. I, it looks like a fucking oxygen tank's leaking. I don't know. We must have hit something when we were all asleep. <sighs> okay, because so, my stomach was, like, doing all types of weird turns and stuff. Um, and I thought I might hyperventilate a little bit. Um, and I forgot. Is, is the safety off of this thing? Please don't huh? point that at anyone while you oh, say that. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. We got to point holster. it down for... Oh, oh, holster okay, the holster gun. And slow... <laughs> Okay. I mean, yeah, but you don't... Be, oh, just oh, keep oh, it the whole okay, 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 okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, All right, let's head down there and see what's going on. Okay. Uh, and let me just get my bag, and then B's gonna grab her bag and, like, basically just make sure that everything's, like, stuffed in there, and then... What have it What are shoulders. you carrying in there? Do you want to, like, put that in, in a room or something? Do you not want to have to hold that? Uh, I mean, you know, I, I just want to make sure I have my stuff with me. I, I mean, just in case. I mean, I don't know if stuff's going to get real. I need to I need to be prepared, right? That's what a good soldier always does, you know, preparation. What do you, what do you have in the bag? Um, my, my, um, my switch and, um, uh, um, there's, there's this toy that me and Johnny used to, like, have fun with. It's, it's, I mean, it's, it's like a remote control car, but it's like really, really cool. Cause it can do like actual like parkour tricks and stuff, but it comes in handy for other things too. Like, so, and, and I have like a laser pointer and, um, like some other Well, stuff. if we were fighting giant cats, we would be all set. Uh, but unfortunately we are fighting the spawn of Satan himself. Maybe. I don't not, know. We don't I know still, what's You yet. guys are still not telling me. What, what, <laughs> what is this thing? Or what did let's, you think it could be? Not just like gas. Uh, well, actually, yeah, no. no, no let's, oxygen let's is good. Oxygen is... We should focus on oxygen. Yeah, we'll, we'll tell you the whole thing after. Okay. All right. Head out, soldiers. Okay. So you guys right. head to the life support unit on the ship which is on the deck below uh, the main deck that you're on um, you head down you get onto the corridor where the, the unit is and you get to the door uh, are we able to open it? do we have an access or something? no, nope, you see a message flash up on the screen next to the door that says uh Life support unit sealed, uh, decompressorization. Lore. I mean, is there like, um, I mean, I'm kind of, I'm kind of small, so I can like fit into tight spaces. Is there like some place maybe, I don't know, like you, you guys have like any type of like fence or something that I can like, maybe I can crawl and like open from the other side. I mean, just saying. I mean, we have plenty of vents. You could. You could try it, or we could head down into, you know, the the computery things that lore fixes that I don't know about because I carry the syringes. I mean, I only know how to hack some stuff, but like, I'm not as good. Again, like Johnny was the hacker of our like. But you duo. know how to do it. I mean. I can try to give it a shot. I mean, I, I'm again, you know, Johnny taught me some stuff. I'm not an expert, 
like you guys. It's better than well, nothing. It's better than nothing. I'm gonna start dragging B to the control room. Okay. Uh, before we go, I want to press my ear up against the door, and I want to see if I can hear anything besides that oxygen, like. Tss. Um, no. All, all you, the main things you hear are, because that is still going off. Yeah. And in addition to the two messages that keep cycling, you do have a oxygen levels sixty percent. Nah, oxygen shit. levels sixty oh percent. Oh, that's not good. That's oxygen levels sixty oh, no. percent. Okay. Yeah, we got to do this as quick as we possibly okay. can. Okay. So, what are you all doing? I'm basically following um, Lydia, like trying to keep up, like with her pace to try to get to the. Yeah, the area. we're going to any control room that I know of, anything where I could potentially, I don't know, some kind of computer system <laughs> where I can override any of this. Okay, so. On this level of the ship um, is where, like, the cargo bay is. It's where the life support unit is. It's where the engine maintenance rooms are. Um, there is also a small maintenance room um, that you know law utilizes that has, like, a diagnostic computer in there. So that's probably your that best one. bet. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do that one. Okay. So you head in there, and then you do see, like, a terminal in there you can log into. All right, kid. Show us what you got. You're muted. Here's my chance. <clears throat> I got this. I can do this. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, and then uh, B's going to try to um, um, try to get into the system. Yeah. Log in. Make me a contact roll. Okay. Two successes. Two successes. Okay. So with that additional success, uh, you can perform a stunt. So for those watching with this system, uh, one success is a success. One six. Two successes means you can add a stunt to to that um, success and perform like an additional bit of flair, bit of action. Um, so for Comtech, you've got the option of six different things you can, you can do. Mm -hmm. You can gain a plus one modification to a later skill roll relating to this one. Um, you don't need to roll to overcome the exact same challenge uh, in the future. Um, you do it quickly in half the time it would normally take. You get new and une unexpected information, my choice. Um, you hide your tracks or you show off. Um, I'm going to try to do it quickly since um, it's a time sensitive situation. Um, so trying to um, see if I can access that to try to get the door yeah. open. Okay. So you log in and um, it, it doesn't take you long um, to get in. You get in and you manage to get into the, the system diagnostics for the ship. Um, you see that you cannot override the door. The door will remain sealed because there is an oxygen leak in the room in the sense that oxygen is leaking out of the ship through a hull breach. There is a hole in the hull of the ship in that room that is leaking oxygen. But additionally, the oxygen tanks in that room have also been damaged. So the oxygen is leaking from your reserves out of a hole out of the ship. Do we have like the capability to suit up and go outside the ship and patch that hole? So the ship does have five um, compression suits. So five space suits, um, as there are. There, it, it's set up for a six person crew, um, but there's only five suits. Um, but yes, you do have that. Um, one thing B is able to glean from the computer is that there is, um, a kind of guideline a repair guideline of what to do in these situations and it states that you're going to need to repair the hull breach from the inside the outside as well both sides need to be repaired um, and then to fix and then you're going to have to turn off the oxygen tank to repair it and then you can turn it back on but you do have two tanks in that room, but there is one that is, is damaged. 
So would um, would we understand that basically like us t turning off the oxygen? We would need to obviously be in the suits in order to like breathe. And, yes. And yeah. Do the repairs. Okay. Yes. Inside the room and outside the room. All right. Sounds like we got to suit up. Yeah. I haven't it's done this in pretty a bad. long time. I've it's just never like done riding a bike. Like this. Except there's no oxygen and no bicycle. <laughs> so maybe it's nothing like riding a bike, but I, I still believe in you. Yeah, it definitely doesn't sound like when I rode my bike. That sounds, it's it sounds, it, at least from all of this, way more complicated. Um, Where do we keep like, the suits? <laughs> um, they're in the cargo bay. Cargo bay, okay. All so, right, we, we gotta go. So. Yep. So. You head to the cargo bay. You find the suits. What are you doing? Because... Someone needs to go outside and repair the hole on the outside. Someone needs to go into the room to repair the whole breach in the room and the oxygen tank. All right, I'll take the outside. I'll do inside then. B, you want to watch? Yeah. You can help. Um, yeah, if I can help, that'll be good. We're going to have to repair the tank as well. Lydia, are you repairing the tank or are you going to repair the hole? Well, I'll repair the hole, um, and then if B wants to help me with the tank, or she can help me with the hole and the tank, I don't know. I don't know how to do this shit. Yeah. Patching a hole, I guess. Yeah, do you have, like, um, like electrical tape? Does that work? We got that fancy space tape. <laughs> um... And did did B get the information as far as the materials, the direct materials? Yes. <laughs> needed? <laughs> yeah. Um, basically, it requires a patching kit, a whole patching kit, which is mm -hmm. pieces of sheet metal and um, use of a bolt gun and cutting torch. Oh, God. Okay. Um, in the cargo area, um, is B able to try to look and try to find, like, even if she can't pick up everything, if she's able to spot all of those different things? They're not in the cargo area, but they are in the maintenance room you were in, because um, that's basically Law's like little little hovel of the ship where she keeps all her tools and um, diagnostic equipment. So you can find all the supplies you need in there. We just start rummaging through lore shit. <laughs> Someone make me fight while we're doing this. Someone make me a survival roll. Oh, uh, I'll do it. Okay. Whilst you're rummaging. Two successes. Two successes. Okay, okay. My stunt is crying. <laughs> <laughs> your, your options are you can give a success to someone else who's doing the same situation or gain a modifier later or impress someone um, but what you do manage to do during that and looking around Law's room is you find a stash of alcohol of hard liquor in a toolbox <laughs> damn she's hiding the good stuff <laughs> should have known Anybody, uh, anybody want to play? Is that like soda? I think we should maybe take it easy till after we do the very, uh, intricate spaceship repairs. Fair. <laughs> B, you want to try some soda when we're done patching the, the hole? Lydia. <laughs> I mean, yeah, um, I appreciate that you're not, like, trying to kill me, like, before. It so. might. It's very, it's special soda. It's the special oh, kind. Oh, Lord. She's 14. She's not a child, child. You know what alcohol is, I assume. Oh, 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 um, oh, yeah. No, I've, I've never had, um, any of that stuff. I thought it was just like, you're saying that it's like the bubbly, like. And you will not be uh, having it while you have oh, my okay. gun on you. That is for sure. Oh, Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, you said yeah. Uh, you you told me before. No drinking and no shooting. No drinking. Um, take it slow. Okay, yeah, got it. All right, let's shoot up. All right. 
I'm gonna put my arm around B and lean in real close and <laughs> whisper in her ear. You can call me your cool Aunt Lydia. We'll do it later. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she's also too looking a little bit nervous, like because of the fact that she's being really friendly. So she's like not sure what to make <laughs> situations. So she's like, okay, all right. All right, I'm gonna put my suit on, and I'm gonna hold a bolt, a bolt gun in one hand, and I guess the sheet metal yeah. in the other. How heavy is the sheet metal? It's, it's like a good like, four foot by four foot sheet, of steel. Yeah, bees, like bees gonna steel. attempt to try to, like, even though she's like, literally the smallest thing she's trying to basically <laughs> drag it yeah. even though she's struggling with it because yeah. she's only five foot tall so it's basically almost her whole body yeah you're basically hidden by the sheets of metal do i need to is the whole breach big enough for me to exit that way or do i need to exit the ship the normal way you will have to exit the normal way okay so i go to do that <laughs> okay well while, while they go in there Okay, okay. So, just so you're all aware, um, with these compression suits, your oxygen, your air in your consumables is now five. So that is your okay. oxygen supply in your spacesuits is five. Got it. And then I will be making you make some rolls in regards to that as that starts to deplete as well through use. Oh, can't oh, wait. Oh, fun. Just so you're aware. Yippee. <laughs> so... So the situation is, Paige, you're now going to go outside and perform a spacewalk <laughs> outside your ship yeah. to, to repair the hull breach on the externally. Whereas Lydia and B, you're now going to go into the decompressurized life support unit room to try and repair the hull breach from the inside and fix the oxygen tank that is also leaking. Okay, so, Paige, I need you to make me a mobility roll. I like role. how you said that. <laughs> you need a what now? A, mo a mobility roll. Uh, okay. <laughs> Two successes. Two successes. Okay. Uh, with that stunt wise, um, you can gain you gain a plus one modification to a mobility roll later on. Um, so you get a plus one for your next one. Great. Because um, you can't do the other two because there's no one with you. Um, okay. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah. Um, so you head outside. Um, you head through the little airlock and you're outside the ship um, which is still moving through space not at speed so you're not like outside and gone um, but it is moving slowly uh, you see that there are handholds on the outside of the ship so you can maneuver around um, did you pay attention to where the life support unit room was in relation to where you are yeah okay. yeah just double checking <laughs> soldier strategy so you slowly start to make your way along the outside of the ship to the the whole breach of the life support unit um, whilst you're doing that Lydia and B you've got your suits on now you're inside the ship and you're outside you've moved outside of the life support unit room the door is still shut Okay, we got to figure out how to get this door open. Um, is there anything on the outside? Is there like a small computer by the door that we yes. can somehow? I okay. Do you want to? I I don't know how to do any of this hacking shit. Um, do you want to try to override this? Yeah, I could try to give it a try again. I mean, um, it didn't let me when I tried the first time, but maybe like this 
panel will let me. Maybe um, if I if I yell at the computers, I don't know. I've seen I've seen Captain do it. I think mother mother mother. How? Hello. <laughs> and you hear hello, like? Hello, I work here. <laughs> And with the the siren still going off, the warning sound is still going off. Um, you do hear a voice, um, like a, a chime, ping in to say that it's you know registering your your request. So what do you want to ask the computer? Mother, override the error message on the life support door, please. Op open it, please. And you hear a voice. Oh, they I look at B and just go, always say please and thank you to the robots because one day they're going to take over and kill all of us, so. Is, is, is that like something that actually is going to happen? Uh, I like, don't know. Is it's that a supposed concern to happen? that I have. I, I mean, I don't know. It's a, just a concern that I have. <laughs> oh, okay. I thought it was just like that was common knowledge or something. Like, that's... Um, that yeah, no, I hope... I hope not, but like I have a feeling with the shit that I've seen. So, yeah, mother, can you open the door, please, and stop with this fucking bullshit? Um, and you hear a female voice similar to that that you've heard already this evening, basically say, um, "A moment passes and the the siren stops, the the warning chime stops, um, and the voice basically says, uh, unable to perform request, door sealed due to decompressurization." Uh, wait, uh, don't we have to like shut off the the oxygen and stuff? Did we already? I mean, can mother a... do that? You ask, see what happens. You, you, will it recognize? I mean, I mean, I'm a, I'm a new member of the team. But... If it doesn't recognize yours, I'll try it with mine. All right. Um. Uh. Hey, uh, mother. Um. Shut off oxygen. Thanks. And a moment passes, and then you hear the computer chime again, and it says, Welcome, Beatrice Kiddo. Oh, wow. See, the, I fucking, I told you, you be you nice knew, to the you, robot. How did it know my name? Like, my. Unable to really perform creepy. task area needs to be sealed before further decompression can be initialized god damn it okay so the outside has to be done before okay. we can even start um, the all right let me okay um okay let me try to do it this way um i'm gonna try to see if i can try to get into the system from here um is there can uh be then try to see if she can kind of go into the system um, yeah that's, yeah you can uh, the go onto the there. computer and see if you can glean more information One success. One success. Okay. So you jump onto the computer and see what you can figure out from there because mother's mother is as always is vague. Um as is her way. Um but what you manage to get off the computer is that um you can't open the door because the room the life support unit room has been decompressurized. There is no oxygen in there, but there is oxygen in the corridor that you're in. So you would have to seal the corridor so that you can then open the door which will take the oxygen out of the corridor so it has the same so it is is then pressurized the same as the life support unit room and the exterior so basically you need to seal the doors of the corridor remove the oxygen from the corridor so then you can open the door and there isn't that okay. backdraft backflow okay. sort of situation so we have to close the doors um I don't. I still don't know where everything is. Um, can, can there, sh there are computers at each end of the corridor, right? Like anywhere that there's a door, there's a keypad on the. Yeah, outside there's always a keypad, can... so you can you can easily perform the task of closing the doors. It's just pressing a button. Okay. I'll grab one. You grab the other, and I'll meet you back in the middle. Got it. Okay. okay. So you both <laughs> run to either end, mm -hmm. hit the button. Closes the doors up along the corridor and you meet mm -hmm. back outside the life support unit room where yep. you can then decompressurize the corridor, which will vent the air um, from the corridor and open the door. Or you can just open the door. It's up to you. You choose. 
I mean, we'll wait for it to depressurize the way it needs to, and then we will pop it open mm -hmm. appropriately. Yeah. Because okay. I don't want anyone flying out or yeah. anything. Yeah. <laughs> fucking weird. So B will just follow Lydia's, like, lead on the, this part because she's still kind of, like, not familiar with everything. She's winging it. Okay. So. You go on the computer, start to decompressurize the corridor, which starts to vent the oxygen, the air out of there. Um, Paige, you're slowly making your way to the outside of this unit. Um, can you make me another mobility roll, please? Yes. And I have a plus one to... Yes. Does that mean... Uh, an additional dice. Or an additional die. Okay. Oh, excellent. Two successes. Two successes. Very good, very good. Um, so you make your way along, um, moving towards the outside, and you manage to, you know, keep a steady pace, keep a good grip of the, um, what are they called? Like the handles and the, the guide rails and, and so on that are outside. Um, you manage to move across what looks like a small grate and you pass it. And as you pass it, you hear a hissing sound. Um, and then you kind of move move away and then you see like a gust of like gas come out of it. Um, as Lydia and B have just been, just decompressurized the corridor. That's, that was the vent it came out of. Um, you make your way round to the point where you are now just coming up to where the, the life support unit is and you can see like a small um, like jet of gas coming out ahead of you. Um, can you roll me 5d6? Now the now this is for your air consumption on your uh -oh. suit and these are these are five stress dice you're rolling. On a one okay. on a one on on these dice you will lose a level of air. Okay. <laughs> God. Uh, so you know. No ones. No ones. Okay. Yay! Okay. Woo. So you mean to keep you you maintain composure, keep calm, and you're not like over breathing. You're keeping your breathing low, shallow. Well, not shallow, but you're not taking a lot of breath. So. Um, so your oxygen consumption isn't reducing too quickly. Um, you get to this stream of, of what appears to be gas coming out of the side of the hull, and you see that there is a hole in the hull about that big, and you can see the metal is bent inwards on the hull. Uh I investigate that the sort of bending inwards um because i want to know like what does it look like punctured it is it like does the metal the metal and how it was pushed in is it uh scraped does it look like one clean impact is there anything embedded in it does it look like an asteroid hit does it look like a uh, mm. big big seven foot demon spawn punched a hole in our ship <laughs> make me a wits roll this is a bit of a mix between observation, survival, and context. So we'll just go with one success. One success. Cool. Um, it looks like something spherical hit spherical? the side of the hull and punctured through. Could be a rock. Could be something circular. Something, something that's sturdy. All right. Well, then I set to work on patching said hole. Okay. So you start you, you place the the sheet there and start kind of bolting it to the the side and everything um i will need a heavy machinery roll from you while you do that right. uh, um b and lydia the, the corridor has been decompressurized and you see um the red flashing um warning on the the panel next to the door to enter the life support unit um, now goes green, and you hear, like, an unlock sound on the door. Ah, oh, thank God. Okay, so, um, are, are you used to fixing this stuff? Like, um, what's the nope. fastest way? Oh, 
Um, oh. we're just gonna fuck around and see what happens. All right. Um, Welcome to space. Man, this was uh, definitely um, uh, more intense than I thought it would be. I mean, I knew it would be intense, but like, I mean, hacking into stuff and then having to fix a ship. Yeah. Wait till was... you see the shit Waylon Yutani has been hiding from everyone. Yeah, I was hearing a, a little bit those? about that. Yeah, you were. They were doing some creepy freaking experiments and stuff. and Yeah, seven foot demon spawn. Wait, what? They know all about that. But, but, but wait, wait, hold on, hold on. So, like, like demons exist. Like, I not like, if, like, not like in, in, like, the biblical sense, like, like, for real, for real. Like, it's not just, like, reading storybooks. monsters, horrifying seven-foot slick black monsters with big heads that shoot acid out of their mouths exist. Yes, they do. Uh, and you, you guys just like fight those things on the regular um, like that's just like something I, that you do well i wouldn't necessarily say on the regular every time you see one you kind of like throw up in your mouth a little because it's it's still terrifying every time and we're working we're, we're, we're trying to like figure it out while we're talking <laughs> by the way yeah, so okay. how high up is the hole is this like like I could stand next to it and patch it or I need to like get on crates or something you're gonna have to um get on top of something because this is like maybe eight foot up on the side of the hole okay so are there um is, are there crates or anything in here um you don't see any crates no it's kind of more of a it, it looks more like a sterile area Okay, uh, well. Hmm, that's fun. Do I there are know two of where you. we... Huh? There are two of you. Oh. Yeah, uh, you ever used, you ever used a, a nail gun? A bolt gun? No, I mean, other than, like, the, the pistol. Um, that was the first time, like, I used, like, a gun. Okay, I mean, have you ever held someone on your shoulders before? Uh, no. Um, now Johnny was taller gonna, than me, so I stood on... I'm gonna start, like, oh, climbing oh, oh, on ah, Look! <laughs> oh, you, what have you been eating? We, we, we weren't even eating. We were, it's like asleep. God. <laughs> okay. Uh, B, make me a strength roll. Oh, this is gonna go horribly. Yep. No successes. Cool. Any failures, though? Did you get any? Ones? No failures. So, okay. Okay. <laughs> no successes, but no failures. Okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Lydia, make me an agility roll. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, where the fuck is that? Okay. one of my dice ran away uh well i didn't get any successes on that either but i didn't get any failure so okay. so here's what happens um lydia you climb on top of or attempt to climb on top of b's shoulders and for a second you're on there and b's holding like your ankles of your suit um but again you are wearing spacesuits this is very very cumbersome very awkward um and you managed to get up and you've got the bolt gun in one hand the sheet of steel is on the floor and then you're like fuck can't, yeah, yeah i can't read that and you kind of maneuver to um, to mm. and yeah you fall oh fuck <laughs> uh, oh are, are you all right uh i've seen worse uh it was not fun but it could have been worse okay um ow where can i get crates 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 um or something uh a chair or yeah there's nothing in this room 
apart from the oxygen tanks, some filtration units, there's nothing really movable. The oxygen tanks are movable, though? No. Oh. Wait, can she try to pick up the um, the sheet metal and then try to get on top of my shoulders again? To, like... Have a go. <laughs> I mean, I'll try it. Okay. Mm. okay. I need a strength from Rolling. being and agility from Lydia. <laughs> what? Second time's a charm. I'm dropping things. Hey, I got a bit. success. Uh, no failures. No failures. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so here's what's going to happen. Okay. Lydia, you've managed to get up on these shoulders, and you have the sheet metal in one hand, and you have the bolt gun in the other. And, you know, after that first attempt, you kind of gauge the sort of balance you need to get up there. Um, and you're holding the sheet metal against the hole, and you've got the bolt gun in the other hand. Um, and you're kind of. <laughs> line it up to start bolting it to, to the hole b your knees are shaking your legs are slowly about to give way um you're struggling to yeah, hold this you've not move. got long just don't move uh, i'm gonna need the pair of you to make me um a roll for your your oxygen levels in your your suits so both of you roll five five d6 page five D6. you're on the outside bolting the the panel um on your head did you get a success on your heavy machinery roll i got a success <coughs> Paige. i got a success i got two ones as well okay successes don't matter it's all about the ones mm -hmm. oh so, no yep yeah. yeah. well i got a one too okay so lydia your oxygen's reduced to four b Great. your oxygen's reduced to three Oh shit. Oh. <laughs> so because of your poor strength, um, you're basically like breathing heavy trying to hold Lydia on your shoulders. And using up your oxygen a little bit too much. Um Paige on the outside, did you succeed on that heavy machinery roll? Yeah, yeah, I did. Sweet. So you're on the outside and you're just happily in your own little world, just bolting this piece of sheet metal to the outside of the hole. Um, Nothing like a spacewalk in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you, you're out there and you continue to do that. Um, it's going to take a bit of time. This isn't the quickest task. Um, B and Lydia, you're inside. Lydia, I need a heavy machinery roll from you in an attempt to oh, board this. Oh, no. Oh, no. <coughs> okay. Excuse me. I got one success. One success. Sweet. No failures? No. No? Cool. Um, so, you start bolting away on the inside as well. Um, and this is going to take a little bit of time to do. Because it's not an easy process. Um, B, I need another strength roll from you. Oh, success. Success. Okay. You manage to kind of centre yourself and hold... Lydia. Oh, what would Captain do? She does what would Captain do? What would Captain do? So that's okay. all you hear her mumbling. <laughs> hey, listen, just because we're not all the captain doesn't mean we're not all cool and also skilled at things. But she's like really cool. I mean, she pilots the ship and she's like badass and nobody messes with her like when she looks at you you feel like your soul's been snatched from your body for a quick second until she like tells you she's not gonna kill you or blow your face off so yeah she's awesome i love her dearly remember who carries the syringes <laughs> shutting up now oxygen levels 50 percent oxygen uh, levels okay 50%. okay uh, can oxygen I levels on the other side 50 of the percent hole? Um, you cannot see Paige because there is a big sheet of metal on the other side of the hole. Well, I guess that's a good thing then. Yeah. You, you, you surmise... How's my sheet metal looking on my side? Um, 
you are slowly working your way around. The, the issue you have on your side is you manage to put the sheet there and you put a bolt in, but then you notice the sheet tilts out because the hull has been bent inwards and you're going to, you're either going to have to try and like fold the sheet over the, 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 the bent hull um, or flatten the hull plate in itself. Um, easiest option is to just fold it over and bolt around it. Um, so yeah, that'll be I'll a bit that. of a, a thing, but you start That's working fine. on that. It's going to take a bit of time. Um, but whilst you're doing that, and whilst Paige is also bolting the sheet metal to the outside of the hull, we're going to take a quick break. <laughs> While some maintenance is happening. Um, <laughs> so, maintenance montage. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, for everyone watching, uh, we're going to take a quick five, ten minute break um whilst these guys repair the hull um whilst they do that you guys go and get a drink hydrate stretch your legs and we'll be back in a couple of minutes
and we're back. Um, I hope everyone is hydrated and has used the facilities and is all ready and comfy to continue. Um, so where we I left off. Yeah. <laughs> so where we left off, um, for those that are joining us now, um, the team are on their way to their next rendezvous point, ready to um, enter a dead drop archive um, of Will Nutani's. Along the way, um, Law, their mechanic, has gone off in the shuttle to collect supplies and to meet back. The rest of the crew went into hypersleep. These three members of the team here woke up from hypersleep. Their captain still in her pod, sleeping soundly as it um, refused to open. But there was a warning going off. Um, this warning. 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 Hold breach in life support unit. Warning. Warning. Hold breach in life support. So this was going off. Um, and they now have to deal with that situation um, as the oxygen is additionally depleting in the ship because their oxygen tanks in the life support unit have been damaged and the hull has been breached. Um, they are currently attempting to repair the hull breach we have Paige on the outside of the ship um doing what she can to to repair that whilst lydia and b are on the inside um fixing the hull there with lydia on b's shoulders so we have the fully grown woman on the 14 year old child's shoulders in spacesuits <laughs> inside the ship. Five foot tall, by the way. <laughs> yes, five foot tall. <laughs> trying to repair the ship as best they can. So, whilst you have been applying this these pieces of sheet metal with your bolt gun to the ship, um, some time has passed. So can you all roll me... Um, well, Paige, 5d6. Lydia, 4d6. B, 3d6. Oh Oh my god. One success. Two successes. Uh, okay. two sixes. It's it's about no ones, right? Yeah, all all I want to know is if you get any Not ones. No one. No one. No ones. No ones. Okay. Yeah, no ones to hold me down. <laughs> <laughs> so your oxygen levels maintain consistent currently. Um so you continue on. B, you man manage to keep Lydia on your shoulders while she repairs the hull. Um, it's not the easiest task, but you do. Um, Paige, you manage to repair it from the outside um, to a level you think is good enough. And Lydia, you've stuck the piece of metal on. It's on It's on there now. Let's hope for the best. Um, I hate the noise from the bolt gun, so every <laughs> time I hit, I hit it and it bolts something in, I scream a little. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's really close to my face. And your hand. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so after a little bit of time, um you hear over the ooh, uh oh Lydia ran away. Um you hear I don't over know what the heck just happened. <laughs> Space. That was weird. It was the bolt gun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the bolt gun was like, what the hell? I'm kicking you out of Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, um, after uh, a couple of moments of you kind of securing it and hoping it's it's done, you hear Mother come over the, the Tonai and say, um, hull breach corrected, um, hull integrity back to 100%. Um, but then there's a pause and then no. you hear mother say um, repressurization unavailable oxygen level low so basically you cannot repressurize the life support unit in the corridor because the oxygen is still leaking from the tank so there isn't enough in there for the system to re recirculate itself to then re repressurize if it if it was to try and repressurize the two the corridor and the room then the overall oxygen level of the ship would be at a low level so as it stands it can't until you repair the 
the oxygen tank. All right, let's fix this tank. I'll hop off yeah. and we'll get that done. <sighs> Is that how um, Paige stays so like fit? Like she's like lifts you guys like on her shoulders or something and squats? I mean, yeah. <laughs> All right. Cannon now. <laughs> I'm down for that. It's good to know. Okay. No gym on the ship. Just lift your lift your crewmates. <laughs> I always thought it was just push-ups um, and like maybe like sit-ups, but I guess it, like that works full body. So that's cool. We should probably get this thing fixed though. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Is it like as simple as just cranking the? Does it have one of those like spinny things on the top? It looks like a steering wheel. You know what I'm talking about? A valve. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> no, this Automatic. is like this is like a big metal cylinder, and you can see that there's a hole in the side of it. Is there any more of the scrap metal that we could? Chip yeah, away there at were there were multiple okay. sheets you could you can use, and you brought a couple in with you into the room. Okay. So what are you doing? You want to play with the bolt gun? Uh, yeah. I mean. You were screaming every time you used it, so yeah, now I'm a little nervous. Yeah, that's why I'm giving it to you. I don't like it. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll try. Um, okay. Um, can you hold that there? Yeah. Um. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So I'll. Yep. If I hold this here, you got. You got it. Just do the corner yep. first. So B is cool. trying to like basically like use all her strength, but she's trying to like kind of move over Lydia. Like she's doing it really awkwardly. But it's just because she has no idea what she's doing, and she's probably not even technically holding it totally correct. Okay. Um, but she's gonna attempt anyway <laughs> to try to use this bolt gun. Make me a heavy machinery roll. Oh, buddy. While you do that, I'm gonna roll something. Uh -oh. What? What? I got two sixes. So that's two successes. I only, I only have two professional. to roll. <laughs> okay. What? No, Danny, you're not allowed to roll, though. It's too late, I have. No. <laughs> Welcome, Raiders. Hi, Jay. Thanks for joining us. Um. Okay. So... I had to do a roll there as well, which kind of counteracts what yours do. Oh my god, my subtitles were, were not very um, PG then. Um, but... <laughs> no, my subtitles, as I watch them, they're like totally wrong tonight. <laughs> yeah, I, mine said a word yeah. I didn't expect to see then, so I do apologize. Um, so, B, you... While well, Lydia holds a sheet of metal over the, the side of this metal mm -hmm. oxygen tank, um, which is filled with liquid oxygen, um, oh, no. which is a highly flammable substance. You hold this bolt gun against it to, to oh, put God. a metal bolt through a sheet of metal through a sheet of metal. Um, mm -hmm. Yep. And you do. You manage to, and it goes through, and it. And she definitely closed her eyes connects. when she did it. Yeah. So yeah. That been and you ignored dead. the big warning sign on the the side of the tank mm -hmm. that said flammable, but mm -hmm. the situation is, you're using a lot of pressure and a lot of speed to push a piece of metal through a piece of metal through a piece of metal, um, which causes a spark, oh, and oh ignites no. oh the oxygen tank which explodes which you are both stood next to which is also where Paige is on the other side of the hull um, making her way back so oh, no. we have a slight situation here and here we were worried about face huggers Who knew that the biggest danger in space was us? Was us? I could have told you that. <laughs> so. Oh no. Firstly, oh, no. I'm just gonna I say. I really like Lydia. You all take a point of stress. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure. Um, where's the critical injury table? There it is. Oh my god. Um. 
so oh the God, oxygen, I'm like going to lose a leg. The oxygen tank explodes and throws B and Lydia across the room into the the, the wall. Um, it also blows a hole into the side of the ship, into the hull, uh, where Paige was. So, Paige, I need you to make me a mobility roll. Oh, my please. God. <laughs> so that they don't get yeeted off into space? <laughs> No, not ah! the yeet. Not the yeet. Oh, okay. I gotta roll my stress die too, don't mm -hmm. I? Too many dice. Oh, no. Okay, well, that's two successes and not a one on the stress Ooh. die. Okay. Okay. Go, okay. Rage, Gage. I'm gripping. Okay. It's all those squats with your teammates on your shoulders. You also, Paige, take two points of damage. Oh, okay. Oh, no. And um, there is a piece of shrapnel that hit your suit, and you now have a leak in your own spacesuit. Fuck. So your, I mean, ah. so your um, air level has dropped from five to four straight away. Okay. okay. All right. Be in Lydia. You both get yeeted across the room, um, into the wall, across. Um, you additionally take two points of damage, the pair of you. Three. Um, yeah. And definitely zero. Yeah, you're not dead yet. You're just going to take a critical injury, um, which we're going oh, to roll for. But you I get, get to, to roll. roll. Yeah. I get to re-roll. Thank yeah. God. Because <laughs> I'm small. Yes. <laughs> So, you both take two points of damage. Additionally, um, oh, let me see. Okay, neither of you takes any damage to your suits. There are no punches in your suits. So your oxygen levels stay as they are, but I will be making you do a roll for that as you are both slightly winded. Okay. Um, before do we have we comms in our suits to be able to communicate with each other? You do, you just haven't chose to use them at any point. Okay, I can... <laughs> what in the hell is going on in there? Uh, Lydia, B, are you okay? Uh, I'm, I'm basically unconscious, am I correct? Like, I got thrown against the wall and yeah, I got yeah. knocked out. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Uh, Lydia, hey. what the hell happened? Uh, we blew up an oxygen tank. How are you? Fuck! Y'all almost threw me into space! Now I yep. got an even bigger hole in the side of this thing! I threw myself into a wall. I'm seeing a lot of spots. Uh, oh, fuck, B. Oh, B. 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 Oh, you take care of the kid. I'm gonna try to plug this hole with whatever oxygen I got left. Okay, <sighs> Shit! Uh, Okay, at least I'm good at this part. Okay, shit, shit, shit. Uh, I'm gonna try to wake B. Okay, so whilst you're doing that, firstly... Oxygen levels, 30%. Oxygen levels, 30%. Did Oxygen you levels, one that says, 30%. You guys are fucking idiots, you're all dying? <laughs> you mean... You are going to die. That one. Yeah, just keep playing that one over and over. <laughs> so, firstly, um, Lydia, you can make a, a medical aid roll. Yeah. But whilst you're doing that, my, my B, shit. roll me a D66. So roll me two D6, one is okay. the tens, one is the singles. Okay. Oh, yeah, baby, four successes. Okay. Oh, wait. I can I can re-roll this though. Well, right? let me know what it is first and then Okay, I got a four and a two. So, no so which ones, ones the, which ones the tens? So one is because it's a D sixty six, one is the tens, one is the single digits. Um the the tens was a four and then the two the single digit. Okay. I mean it's not the worst. It's up to you. You can re roll if you want. Well, is it, it it's re rolling the single digit one? Is that what it says? Um, it says that um, I can re-roll the dice and then choose which I prefer. Um, so it's both. Or a crit, yeah. Yeah, roll both. 
Yep, I'm gonna keep the other one. <laughs> you can keep the 42. Mm hmm. Is the other one higher by any chance? No. Well, that's that's better. The higher the number, the worse it gets. Oh, wait. Wait, is wait, hold on. So, so the three and the two is better than the four and the two, like the four, like the three is in like the 13 or not 13. What is it? The uh, 33 or whatever it's supposed to be. So, yeah, because it's a D66. So it's from 11 to 66 is the number. Like you would roll a percentile dice. It's a, an alteration of a percentile dice. Okay. Um, the lower the number, the, the, the less severe oh, okay. the injury so let's take the let's say that then i misunderstood i thought like sometimes you, you think higher is good and yeah then, not in this know, situation yeah. yeah yeah so what what was the lower roll um it was the three on the um the uh the percentage one and then the two on the other one so it was a 32 instead of a 42. Mm -hmm. okay Interesting. Uh oh. Oh god. Okay, so let's let's work I this don't, out. I don't I don't like your face. I, no, I, it's I'm... it's a it's a weird one. So as you were thrown across the room from the explosion, um, and you hit the wall, um, a large chunk of the oxygen tank was like shattered off and thrown into you, and it hit you in the crotch. Um, <laughs> so you took a, a crotch shot basically that's what you rolled um, the effects no, of this not the bread maker no <laughs> the effects of this My is that gets... you take one point of damage at every roll for mobility and close combat and it's going to take six days to fully kind of get past this Wait, that's okay, what the book okay, says. Okay, so it basically you said it's it's one point. Wait, one point of damage for every every time you roll mobility or close combat within the next six days. Oh my gosh! And okay, so that's health. Wait, so health is basically brought down. Mm -hmm. by so one. your health is at zero currently. Your health can be restored through rest recuperation and the assistance of lydia who succeeded on her medical aid role um you got a four which means where's the thing where do i do medical aid oh there is no uh stump for medical aid but we have a look in the book for medical aid because <laughs> we we need to check how how bad you may die Ah, oh, last time we were saying, you know, space periods need to be normalized. Now it's uh, just well, we're still gonna need the tampons. <laughs> yeah, yes. unfortunately, normalized damaged space vaginas. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. who knew that I had to wear a cup in space? Okay, all right. Now we know. We learn something Everybody every day. Everybody wear a cup. The more you know. Boo, 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 boo. <laughs> make sure make sure you wear your space suit make sure you lift make sure you wear a cup yep this is just <laughs> we were all wearing kevlar underpants right <laughs> right Danny? it's like uh robin hood and tights so you just like have the <laughs> <laughs> oh my uh, god chastity belt where are you at yes uh, yeah if we canonically wear okay. a chastity belt on this <laughs> i mean possibly. Uh, Lydia, how many successes did you get on medical aid? I got one, two, three, four. 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 Okay. Uh, B, uh, Lydia tends to you uh, okay. in this situation, and you are brought back to full health. Oh, okay. So with medical aid, every success recovers a point of health to your maximum. <laughs> so. She's just like don't literally, like she's like holding her like crotch. Yeah, like, just, just don't look, don't look, don't look. It's okay. Yep, yep, you're good. It's, yeah, uh, you're gonna need like, yeah, you're gonna need about a week. I thought that only hurt for guys. Oh. oh. 
<sighs> okay, for a week? No. Like, like, yeah, about a week. Oh. Um, you'll Wait, be fine. can It'll I not pee? Can I no, not I pee can now? Pee. No, you can pee. You can still pee. <sighs> Wait, no, but I need to go to bleed. Go bleed. No, no, no. I gave you tampons. Not but for this. But how is it gonna help me pee? I just... Oh, no. Well, it's not gonna help you pee. Mm. It's gonna help you not get blood all over yourself. Okay. Mm. Or we can, you know, put you in a diaper or something. With a pad. Pad? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pad. Please. Yep. Yep. Again. <sighs> Got it. You were in spacesuits? in a room that has now got a lovely view of space. Yeah, so remember what we fixed? Here is... Yeah, how big is the hole? Unfixed. So, um, <laughs> Paige, you can see these two inside the room as the hole is pretty much... It's big enough for you to walk through. This is bad! Hey. But you can see where oh, the patch job no. was, where you guys fixed the hole, because that was, like, on the top left, and this was on the right-hand side. We fixed it! No! Well, now oh. I have to fix it again. Oh. Okay. Um, oh. uh. You know what? Maybe we should all go outside and not. Well, is, is there is, is there still an oxygen leak? Is there still so? Or is that one exploded? So there's no more <laughs> leaking. <laughs> so the situation yeah, is. Good news. <laughs> the oxygen leak has ended um the tank that was leaking does not exist anymore um there is another tank in there that somehow was shielded from the blast by the filtration unit oh, which was in between God. okay so the ship does have oxygen um it is permanently reduced to like 50 percent its capacity um but yes there is oxygen on the ship there's just a, a large hole in this room Okay. That you do not have the tools or equipment or supplies to fix. All right, get out of this hole and we'll go in the front door. Okay. I, uh, I'm well, holding on to the handrail, but I reach out a hand to help them out. Mm -hmm. Well, no gravity at least. So are you guys now exiting, exiting the ship? Walking yeah. along the outside to go back through the airlock in the cargo bay. Yeah. Okay, can you all make mobility rolls while you do that? Oh, no, 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 never mind. Don't do this. Don't do this. Uh -oh. I'm already doing okay. it. No, you Too just hear late. me just go, ah. <laughs> I can't do it. It hurts. It hurts. Mobility. Oh, there we I go. I got one success and I'm okay on the stress die. Okay. I got one success. I don't think I have a JJ anymore. The hell is she going on about? Uh, so, um, we're not gonna talk about, uh, vaginas mm -hmm. ever again. Mm -hmm. We didn't really talk about them that much to begin with. Well, ever again, because uh, okay. bees, bees is removed <laughs> for the moment. I'm sorry. <laughs> You know what? Nope. I decided I do not want to know right now. It will just stress me out. Like it's, it's there. It's just really hurting. It's from the oxygen tank. It'll be... Oh, nope. Give it a I can days. feel it. Success. I, can, I can feel it. Oh, God. No. Do not describe <laughs> it to me. <laughs> okay. So, you managed to maneuver your way around the outside of the ship to the airlock. Um, B, kind of groaning and moaning the entire way. Um, in pain. Uh, I did roll uh, because I had to roll my stress die. I did not. I, I didn't. I didn't fail, but I didn't succeed. Yes, yeah, so. that's fine. Um, so you make your way around to the airlock, and you are back inside the ship um, in the cargo bay that has oxygen. So you can take your suits off. Um, Paige, luckily, um, the time that had passed wasn't long enough for your oxygen levels in your suit to deplete. All right. Once I take it off, I want to try to patch the uh, uh, hole in the suit. Yeah, you, it's a standard duct tape job. Great. For the suit. So can we patch the hole in the ship with duct tape? Or 
Uh, I, I hold up the one roll of duct, duct tape we have in here. No. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, listen, bolt gun is not really my strong suit, as we have now learned. Um, I mean, I was good at it, How the hell did y'all manage to blow up the oxygen? I well, thought we that was to... how you're supposed to fix the tank. Yeah, we were trying to bolt the steel to the oxygen tank. Oh, boy. Well, at least we still have one. This is Laura's job. This is... I... <laughs> I don't do this shit. She's gonna be real pissed when she gets back. You do know yep. that. Yeah, yep. you might want to have a calm down syringe ready just to stick her when she gets back. I hope she's not watching right now. Sorry, <laughs> I didn't do it. To you know be that. fair, I've never done any of this stuff before, and there's a lot going on. Well, yeah, no, you got your cooch anyway. I think it's even. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. If she asks what happened, you're not gonna say anything. It's it was me. It's fine. I'm just it gonna tell her right now. It was a terrible did. accident. Nobody could have prevented it. <laughs> say it with us. It was a terrible, terrible accident. Terrible accident. Nobody, Nobody could have prevented, prevented, prevented it. it. Yeah. Great. <laughs> you got something you can stick her with now? Make it hurt less. I mean, we're in suits. Oh, I'm out of my suit at this point. I have yeah, we can take them off. Yeah, you gotta take off that suit. suit. We gotta see the damage, B. I mean, I don't have to. Lydia okay. does. All right. Okay. And then B's gonna like take off the suit, but then like when she's trying to lower it, oh, she's like trying to like gently lower her head and try to get her legs out of the suit yep okay here's what we're gonna do you're gonna just lay back on the floor i will pull it off from your feet oh god it's that blood oh. Oh. are you freaked out by blood oh. don't look don't oh no it's close not, your eyes it's... look at oh. me just look at me look at my eyes. talk about puppies and rainbows everything's fine don't look don't... Yeah. oh shit that's a... oh my god oh my god oh, oh i wish i hadn't looked oh god oh, my... oh. <laughs> <laughs> so what you see is no no i'm not gonna i'm not describing oh that no. we'll leave that to your imagination yeah <laughs> but it's bad whatever you think it's bad <laughs> so you are in the cargo bay you are out of your spacesuits um what are you doing now there's a big hole in the side of the ship that you cannot repair but there is oxygen You guys see anything strange when he went in there? Cause something clearly came from the outside, and punched a hole through the a hole. You see anything yeah. like that? I we didn't. I mean, we the room was pretty sterile. If there was something mm -hmm. in there, we would have seen it, right? We didn't even see any like thing to like try to get on top of in order to try to balance we had to like be on top of one another to even put that stuff up there yeah you, i mean you yes. didn't really like fully search the room you're more looking for specific items to lift up um but i mean the hole was like that big that sounds like a cantaloupe. Oh, it was way smaller than i thought yeah the original hole the, the hole now is like six foot by six foot um, yeah you don't have to keep reminding us we made a bigger hole thank yeah. you okay okay <laughs> um are there uh, B's gonna try to look for like any more of the sheet metal for like being able to cl close up the stuff. There is some sheet metal, but it is not big enough to to just cover the hole, and it wouldn't have the the structural strength to to maintain a good seal of for a hole that size. I'm sure Laura will be able to figure it out when she gets back after she finishes screaming at us. How long does it take to put the suit back on? It's a couple minutes on, a couple, like a minute off. Okay. Yeah, I think I might go back in there and just take a look around because whatever hit the ship came in, it didn't go out. So. All right, but you got to go out the front door, around the side, in the hole, because we can't be opening up those doors again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, I'll be right back. 
Okay. okay. Be safe. So mm. you put your suit back on. Um, your air level goes back up to five. Um, and you head on out. So I'll need a mobility roll to kind of space walk your way back into the room. One success. One success. Okay. So you make your way um, with ease. Whilst Lydia is heading to the life support unit um, to do that, what are you, B and Paige, doing? She's going to be gone a few minutes. Well, after B goes around um, to like wherever there's like cover to um, basically put the pad into her uh, drawers, mm -hmm. um, to try to do that discreetly, and then like come in, like she's basically you just see her like ow, ow, ow. you hear her wincing and and you know kind of like grunts of pain, and then she like hurries up but not really hurry but like as fast as she can with this injury to her groin mm -hmm. i meanwhile go back into lore's office and i get the good alcohol uh and i bring it back out and i go all right we can consider this a special occasion but i think you should probably chug as much of this as you can handle and pass the fuck out <laughs> all right all right all right okay, okay. Mm. All right. Bottoms up. Swallow. Swallow. Yeah, there you go. I know. <coughs> <coughs> oh, how do you guys drink that stuff? My throat is burning. Oh. Yeah, it's kind of the point. But you're about to feel a lot better. What is that? Uh, <laughs> what is the label on the bottle? Uh, there is no label on the bottle. It's just a blank brown bottle. But from a sniff, it smells like uh, like a bourbon. I'm going to guess that this is space hooch. Space cooch? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happened to you. I'm yeah. sorry. It's not funny. I'm not laughing. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> This is really uh, embarrassing, you know? I know, take mm. another drink, take another drink. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Mm, thanks. <sighs> I guess it gets easier the more you drink it. That's the point, all right, let's get you to a bed. Okay. And I try to prop her up and, and help her to go lie down somewhere. Yeah, yeah you take her to the, like, the rooms, um, little domiciles and gently place her down on a bed where where B can now take oh. some time to recover. Can you promise me something? Uh, maybe? What is it? Please don't tell the captain. Uh, like... I mean, I'm not gonna say anything, but if you're hobbling around, it's gonna be pretty obvious. Well, just... Can you, can you like, tell her that like it it wasn't because you know we kind of messed up and 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 oh no 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 it was an accident and it could not could not have, have wait, it could not could we not, could not have could prevented not have done, it yeah 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 that was it yeah. okay right, oh, accident could not have prevented that <laughs> yes <laughs> I take a shot as well <laughs> okay so. all right now you just lie okay. down here I'm gonna put this on the bedside <clears throat> don't drink the whole thing because you will get sick. Actually, I take a glass out of somewhere. I pour the glass. I take the bottle back. <laughs> <laughs> Good night. I will, I will be back to check on you. Uh, holler if you need anything. Okay. We'll do. You were very brave today. I give her a little pat on the head. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Miss Page. Uh, and I go back to the security cams uh, so that I can check and see how Lydia's doing. Yeah. Um, so Lydia, you make your way round the outside, and you are now at the end, the new entrance to the life support unit. Yep, yep. I'm gonna drop in. Okay. Are you gonna then like search around and try and find what this object is? That is the plan. Yeah. Make an observation roll. Oh boy. Uh... Okay. 
One success. One success. Okay, so um, it is dark in here now. There is no no um, full lighting. There's only like a little emergency lighting on the wall. Um, so it's a bit hard um, to look around. And there is like some like some of the area is now blackened from the explosion. Um, but having a search around, you do find behind um, the existing uh, oxygen tank, you do see that there is a small round shaped rock that appears to be about the right size um, of the initial hole. Okay. Um... Oh, I have a shoulder lamp. Can I turn that on? Is that part of your marine armor, not your spacesuit that you're in? It says TNR shoulder lamp. I do not know what that means. That is part of your combat armor um, as a clone oh, marine. Oh, damn it. But you could pick the rock okay. up and bring it into the cargo bay if you wanted. I don't know if I want to. Um... Oh, you can leave it there. Do I... So with with the suit that I have on now, do I have access to anything? No, right? You would need equipment. There is like a small lamp on the head of the helmet, but it's not it's not the best form of illumination you've got. I mean, it's it's what's there... assisted you to see the rock, but um is you'd have to Is there anything left in the room? Like is the bolt gun still in the room? No, that's floated off into space. Ay 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 ay. Okay. Uh I'm gonna I'm gonna stick my foot out as far as I possibly can and like gently kick the rock. And it rolls like maybe three inches until it's touching the wall. Does it feel really heavy? It feels Can I, kick it? I mean there's no form of like gravity in this room now. Um but it feels it feels sturdy. It feels like a solid chunk of something. Okay. Um, I will pick it up and carry it in. Okay. You pick it up and it doesn't Against weigh a lot because <laughs> as as you're in space, it doesn't weigh. There is no weight to it. Um, but you pick it up and carry it around um, back to the cargo bay. Into the, and once you come in into the into the cargo bay and that artificial gravity hits, it's, it's, it's heavy. Like this thing weighs. Oh, shit. <laughs> Drop it on the floor. <laughs> and it like hits with a clunk. Does, okay, so now around. that I'm in being in real light, does it look like a rock? It looks like a piece of debris, yeah, a piece of rock. <sighs> there's like rock? a slight there's like a slight metallic tint to it as well. So it might have some sort of alloys within it. Minerals and stuff. But yeah, it looks like a rock. It is round, it's, it is um... not oval. If that's the question you you're you're yeah, trying to get to. That was my concern. <laughs> Yeah, um, this caused a whole lot of trouble today. A fucking rock. A tiny little space rock, god damn it! <laughs> oh. Well, I, you want to break it open, make sure it's not anything spooky? I mean, that was my worry also, but having... I've seen them before, this doesn't look the same, right? No, it doesn't look like... Um, one of the alien eggs that you saw in the hatchery on the station you were previously encountered. Yeah. This looks like I mean, a rock. I don't, know if we, I don't know if we need to be concerned. This just looks, it looks and feels like a rock to me. It's not giving me the same feeling that I got, you know, in that room that time that we don't talk about. Otherwise things happen. Uh, yeah. Uh, I kind of feel like we should throw this thing back into space. I mean, we, yeah, we can. Unless you want to keep it, but somehow... A pet? A pet rock? Yeah. <laughs> Don't we already sort of have a pet child now? Where is she anyway? Oh, I got her drunk and I put her to bed. I missed it! Uh, she wasn't that fun. She's mostly just wailing because she got s snatched in the snatch. <laughs> <laughs> of all of the rolls to get 
Yep. Uh, oh my god. All right. My biscuits. Well, at least she's uh at least she's sleeping. Yeah. Oh man, I can't wait for Laura to get back. We're gonna be in so much trouble. Yeah, but at least we'll have a spaceship without a giant fucking hole in the side. That is true. Um, let's hope that Lore gets... Oh, no. Captain will probably be awake before Lore wakes up. I mean, and before as... Lore gets back. And as you say that, the door that leads from the rest of the ship into the cargo bay slides open, and you see Selena Spidlin Cortez stood there with a heavily pissed off look on her face. And that's where we're going to end the session. Oh my god. <laughs> so. Oh boy. That was interesting. Yeah. Um, cross shots, you know. Cross best. shots and explosions in space. Um, <laughs> Is every episode going to end with a bloody crash? <laughs> I mean. <laughs> Apparently. This is a running the theme, theme currently. Yeah. <laughs> we have to change the name. Not Alien No Turning Back. No. It's Alien Bloody Crotch. <laughs> <laughs> or Snatch. Wait, the sna wait, it says Snatch. Or snatch sna in the Snatch. snatch. <laughs> so, I'm just. Oh my God. So, I have no words. I can't. Oh boy. <laughs> for everyone watching, thank you very much for sticking around. Um, this was an interesting, <laughs> this was an episode. interesting episode. Yeah, this, this was a Dice thing rolls. that happened. Um, yeah, um, we will be back in two weeks uh, for our next episode with a full crew um, to deal with the consequences of what these three have been up to. Uh, <laughs> before we go, um, let's hand the floor over to my players once again to tell you who they are, where they are. What they're about um let's start with um the crotch shot themselves uh utahime <laughs> hi guys i'm utahime and apparently my crotch is possibly permanently damaged um well not mine but our lovable bee who constantly finds trouble or maybe just trouble finds her who knows uh, <laughs> i am a cosplayer and streamer and of course i perform in the ttrpg space so if you want to follow me please be sure to follow me at utahime cosplay and that's facebook instagram here on twitch where i have my own channel and also to at brianna de Coster on twitter and um you can catch me um back on the initiative order every other friday or like in two weeks now it's like wait no every other it that i said it right <laughs> i'm like did i do the math correctly yeah that's right. um uh, you know you catch me every other tuesday for ecrium expeditions on the red hair inn every other wednesday for tayar on uh, that underscore d'angelo's channel and there's going to be some um, more fun announcements to come about some upcoming shows so stay tuned um but uh, it's always a pleasure <laughs> playing with this squad because you never know what's gonna happen and apparently uh, my snatch got snatched so there's that mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and now we'll hand over to uh, taylor i wasn't expecting you to say me i got nervous and couldn't figure <laughs> out how to unmute myself <laughs> Um, hey, I'm Taylor, and obviously I am Lydia here. I swear I am not as reckless and chaotic in real life. Um, <laughs> you can find me on Instagram at the Barbarian Barbie, and actually every other Thursday. So when I'm not playing Alien on the alternate week, I will be over on um, Team Drew's basement. We will be streaming on Twitch and on YouTube Live, and I will be playing my little rogue Jubilee. She's a wild little clown rogue and she's crazy and i love her so much <laughs> wonderful and finally emily hello i'm emily um and i'm gonna have to google more synonyms for crotch before next episode <laughs> uh, 
But I'm Emily. Uh, you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Emily Irv. That's E M I L Y E R V. I am the executive producer, a host, and a voice actor on Twenty Sided Stories, an improvised uh, comedic role playing podcast, which we just announced. Uh, well, we didn't announce what our new season is, but we just announced that we recorded it. Uh, so that's very exciting. Um, you can find me on the Fridays I'm not here over at Second Star uh, Show here on Twitch, uh, where we're playing D D Five E, and I get to play with the lovely uh, Brianna Flame of the Initiative Order. Uh, I am also now a permanent cast member on Fae Forge Academy, uh, which is another D&D 5e podcast. Absolutely lovely. All the magic school, none of the transphobia. Um, and yeah, and I'm around. I'm here at the Initiative Order because I like these people. <laughs> yeah. Except for when Danny kills us, then I stop, I stop liking him. <laughs> it's not happened yet. It's fair. <laughs> yet. Um, yes, and I'm Danny, Jeff for Traps on socials. You find me here, here, and here. Um, and here. Um, yeah, thank you all very much for watching. Please check out our sponsors. Um, great people helping everyone out with lots of discounts. Um, keep an eye on our schedules. We have lots of shows um, currently on the schedule and lots of new stuff to come. So keep a look on our socials for stuff like that. And if you ever want to chat, hang out with the cast, with other members of the community, contemplate joining the Discord. Um, it's a great hub. We do free um, community games there every month. Um, we supply everything you need to play. Um, we run it for all all levels of experience, from, from new players to experienced players, and it's a good place to try out different systems and some of the stuff we do on stream um, with the GMs and cast members as well um, who join in. So... Think about joining the Discord if you want to be involved in that. But yeah, that's it from me. Um, this oh, was the in... nerd show is that tomorrow? The nerd. Yes, the the finale of our nerds D and D crossover is tomorrow. Uh, we've been doing a every week, every Saturday morning, a one on one session, and tomorrow is the full group. All six players are together to try and restore harmony um, to the world and color. So please watch that. That is at eight a.m. PST. That Saturday morning cartoon show. Um, it's worth getting up to watch. It's fun. Um, Billy is the GM for that. But yes, that's tomorrow. Discord, socials, sponsors. Um, I need to lie down after this. Um, thank you all for watching, and uh, we'll see you. We'll see you soon. Peace. <laughs>